comedians opening cards, no coffee. Come on, let's enter the temple. It's right up here. Come on in. <laughs> Comedians opening cards, no coffee. Uh, Thursday at High Fidelity in Portland, Maine. And we got another comedian. Who do we got? Rob Barnes, everybody. How oh, are we doing? And you already picked Dick I Tracy. Did. I picked the old Dick himself. It was uh, one of my favorite movies as a child. It was a horrible movie now when I look back at it. But it uh, reminds me of my childhood. And um, reminds me of a time my mother took us to a place and uh, she told us he was just her friend. And I'll leave it there. Oh, okay. So it has some extra special <laughs> childhood memories for, for you. People. Right, right, right. This is the punchline to one of my jokes. The old Dick Tracy. Dick yeah. Tracy, yeah, okay. yeah. It's a double name. Well, it's a trans joke. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> And I got it from doing this show. Like I'm like, oh, I can freaking. I'm gonna use that. Also, like Madonna in the '90s. Mmm. Yeah. And there's a scene. I think I've never seen this movie, but there's a scene where she's rather scantily clad. Yes, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Which she was a fan of. Smoking. Yeah. yeah. Then. Absolutely. I'll see you. Norman and uh, 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 Sam uh, both. Yes, there's, there's the Madonna. Madonna. A lot of yellow and red. Did you get Madonna? Oh, yeah, look 20, at her there. 27 facelifts to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. Uh, Would oh, you still wow. do her? Yeah, well, for the story. Just for the story. For the Would story. you do? Both of you? For the story. Same story, but we both have it. We'll <laughs> <laughs> do together. There you go. Like a bird. But that's on Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, both said they would still sleep with her for the story. For now, yeah, I would, yeah, yeah I, for the I story. probably would too. Yeah, for the story. It'd probably be the best night of her life, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, she, I mean, yeah, you, that, you're just awfully high of people. yourself. I, well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty yeah. good. Yeah, well, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> That's what we all have to. Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, take your word for it. Let's see if we got Dick in here at all, huh? Mm. Terrible see. time of year. I mean, you can't really call that a, a solid. Dropping game. Tess off. Yeah. Oh, I've seen this card before. Yeah, you can't really, yeah. you can't really say that's a dick pick. Um, no, here's another one. Another scene from the movie. Oh, the party's over. That's weirdly lit. Yeah. Let's see. What oh, this had the weird colors. Lips. <laughs> Lips in a fix. I've been there before. Often the villains in this uh, thing are kind of like facially deformed. Oddly, prune right? face stuff like that. Weird. Yeah, yeah. But then again, it's got to be kind of creepy. You got to keep them scary. It's, po it's right after World War One. ish and stuff. of which... Yeah, there you go. I'm like an uncircumcised penis the right there. <laughs> what is he all about? I don't know. Let's see. It must say something, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, where do you live? One of the smartest of Tracy's foes. Well, there you go. Huh. Big head like The brow, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. That you know what sense. I mean? I get it. The I unibrow. Uh, Tracy's... Oh, this animal. is your sticker. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. The faceless felon. I mean, that's probably the best looking felon in the whole thing. Oh, that's fun. You know? He's almost the invisible man. Right. Yeah, yeah. Tracy's Gamble. Eh. I was really hoping for a Madonna card. Ooh, yeah. Damn you never know what'll be in there. You no. got a double one, too. I got all the bad guys, really. Mm. Roll call of evil. All right. Right. Nice. Awesome. Well, if you'll just sign one for me, Absolutely. you can keep the others if you so desire. Let's see. I'll give you the... Uh... And uh, how long have you been doing comedy? Uh, since August, actually. Wow. And how do you like the uh, scene up here? I love it. I love it. I'm getting on shows. I'm um, hitting mics. Uh, it's been pretty fun. Awesome. We started uh, producing our own shows, a buddy of mine and I, up in Bridgeton, Maine. Oh. Uh, we call ourselves Western Maine Comedy. So right. if you guys want to check us out, that's where we're at. Follow us on Instagram, whatever. Super cool. Um, yeah, good times. We awesome. Do, and we do, uh, we're, we're doing some nursing home shows. Around Maine, uh, we try to bring some comics into the nursing homes and mm. make the old people. It has to be laugh. clean, I would imagine. I don't put restrictions on comics. No, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Even I, in the nursing home, don't care. No, I don't ah. care. I, I, it's hard. Like if they don't, if you're not, just do a whole bunch of incontinence jokes oh or my God. shoes or wheelchair stuff. Just I mean, incontinence. Yeah, I mean, like you UTIs. worked in a nursing home for a little while. Wow, that would almost be fun. UTIs are big, you know. Yeah, I could make so many jokes just because I I've been up. there. Yep. Oh my God! Yeah, for sure. I might actually want to do that. They're fun. They're not. They're I would not, actually. I love. All, oh my God! And they need it. I mean, right. laughter's the best medicine, right? That's oh my God! We, that's what we do it for. So, it's a good, oh, I want to do that. I do want to do that. I want to do that. Yeah. That'd be yeah. awesome. So, awesome. And we're trying, to do, we're trying to do it so that we do like two shows in one day. So it's 11 o'clock and then mm. at 2 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to get two two spots on the mic. Cool. Good time. Cool. Let me awesome. sign one of these yeah, for you. Exactly. Get out here. Uh, I'll, give you Trace, uh, I'll give you Tracy's gamble. How about that? Sweet. Whatever you want. I'll give the rest to my kids. Let's see here. Yeah. Starts to get a little. 
There you go. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Robert Barnes. Robert Barnes. And uh, hey, go check out live comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Good. Thank Thanks, you so Dave. much. Here at Hot Fidelity every Thursday, 7 to 9 p.m. Please welcome back David Bacon. David Bacon. You're such an idiot. I'm going to have some. I don't know who that character was. I won't be doing that. Okay, this is a whole probably, I was gonna do my show, but I don't know if I want to. I just wrote something in the fucking car. Oh, <laughs> the children. Try the other one, yeah, try the other one. Try cursing red as the one. Fuck. There we go. Uh, so, I still wanna do the show, but oh well. I'm just gonna do my freaking, this, I just wrote this, so. Uh, bear with me. Because we're main. I'm sure you are all familiar with Andrew Dub and this is not finished, so it's just going to abruptly end. This way I'll save you time later. I'm sure you're all familiar with Andrew Dice Clay's famous nursery rhymes. Okay. So it's like he, he like did these dirty things. He'd like do like whatever, whatever. Uh, Penis, uh, fucking whatever, that kind of stuff. Whatever. You just dickery, dickery dog. The penis in the cock? I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Something really matter. Something like that. Even though then I would go, yeah, that's what big comedy wants. <laughs> so that's what a big comedy gets. But you don't know it, so big comedy's not as funny as like big pharma now. <laughs> it's part of the whole. Miscommunication agenda? Perhaps you're familiar with that organization? M-A- Oh, oh so let's go. Ma. Nursery rhyme suppression? That's been going on since the brothers were around? Not so fast. They're part of the fairy tale division. It's like, once you don't care, it doesn't matter. Not nursery rhyme, big difference, like black and white. Anyway, they've been suppressing the second verses. See? Take Jack and his floozy Jill, just fumbling all over him. Is he a king? Or did he hurt his head? Okay, you know I'm talking about Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Crown could be crown or your head. Is he hurt? Is he king? We all on the same page? Is he king or did he hurt his head? We're left with a conflict. Are they going to be okay? We don't know. I propose, because we don't know the second verse, mm -hmm. this is perfect. No, this, I'm confident, this is the cause of your anxiety. It's been suppressed, the second verse of the nursery rhymes. Kid, you're not gonna know, I'm gonna tell you the second verse. How much fucking treatment have you been going to? I'm gonna save. <laughs> And not only does the suppressed verse two, the real verse two, not only will it elevate your discomforts mentally, that thing's not even, but it will provide you with some medical knowledge. Big Pharma has been suppressing for many lifetimes. 
There really is a second verse. Like that's all. That part's true. Which of which of course have been uh, getting shorter because of such suppression. So here's verse two. I did not write this other than on this paper. But there is a verse two. Up Jack got and home did trot as fast as he could caper to old game Dob who patched his knob with vinegar in brown paper. So, he patched his what? He patched his knob, I know. Isn't that funny that they use the word knob? I think uh, Nickelodeon is made this. Oh. <laughs> so, truth be told, vinegar is a uh, acidic acid that chews up bacteria, yeast, and, and, and scabs. Big Pharma has been suppressing this second verse because they don't want you to use vinegar. It's right there. Plus now we know he's okay, he's gonna survive. No anxiety. Do not. Aren't you? I'm way over time. Thank you so much. Oh, only 34 seconds. Those people that. What movie does stand in character? Does the stand in character for Stephen King's Sutter Kane feature it? What? Somebody wrote this for me, by the way, because I don't know if it's really good. Uh,